And here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.2. I've got my clips in the timeline already. I've got my clip here with me, the actor, on video one. And then I've got the overlay of the cross on video timeline two. You can find a link in the comment section below as to where to find this asset. I've already repositioned the cross to make its size a little bit um, better for the uh, screenshot that we have. You can do all of this effect inside of DaVinci Resolve's edit page under the inspector tab. In this effect, you can also find it in some other channels online when it comes to FilmRite and Cinecom.net. However, if you don't have the gear, the time, the expertise, the skill, whatever the case may be, this might be an alternative to get a similar effect. So this is kind of a beginner guide when it comes to rotating something. You're able to animate this clip, the cross, using keyframes in the inspector tab. So I've already repositioned the size of the cross to make it look like it's sitting there on the wall. And what we're gonna do is try to rotate this cross around to make it look as if it's, it's spinning on one axis or one nail at the top. So if you go over here to the inspector on the right, you can see there's a rotation angle and an anchor point. The rotation angle is just rotating the asset that you have or the clip that you have. So you'll see if I rotate this, it'll rotate the cross, but it's rotating right in the middle of the clip, which I don't want this to have happen. You can see I've got a uh, nail there in the background. I'm gonna want to make it look like it's rotating off of that. So we'll reset the rotation here and we're gonna change the anchor point on the Y axis to make the anchor point higher. So I'm gonna throw this all the way up to 300. And you can see the cross here has moved up a little bit. So we gotta reposition that. And then what we'll do is as we change this rotation angle, you'll see that the rotation is now toward the top of the cross, which is what I'm looking for. So at the start of the clip, we're gonna hit the keyframe on the right, which is these little diamonds here. So you'll click on the, this particular uh, rotation is where we're gonna make all this animation. Hit the space bar, and then you'll see we're gonna add another keyframe here. We're gonna change the rotation just a little bit. It does it automatically for us. Hit space bar again. Now we're gonna change the rotation a little bit more. Space bar again. Add it a little bit more. And just for illustrative purposes, we'll show you going all the way around. There we go. And each time we change that, a keyframe was dropped here, this little red diamond. And then if you wanted to scroll through all the different keyframes, you can click this arrow button here to go to the previous keyframe that you had. So to see this in full uh, display, click on the space bar at the beginning of your clip, and you'll see that each of these keyframes will animate or move the cross just a little bit throughout the clip. And then I added a little bit of uh, sound effects, sound design, just to sell the effect a bit more. But kind of a quick, simple way. Again, all done within the edit page, all done using keyframes and the inspector tab on the right. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like what you saw, make sure to like button in the uh, little like section below. Comment if you'd like what you saw, if you want to see more tutorials like this. Subscribe if you want to see more and hit the bell notifications to make sure you get notified every time I upload content which comes out Mondays and Fridays. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. See you next time.